like all the rest. This poem will not be amongst great literary works, will not be recited by poetry enthusiasts, it will not be quoted by politicians nor men of religion. This poem is knives, bombs, guns, blood, fire, blazing for freedom. Yes, this poem is a drum, a shanty, mama, Igbo, Yoruba, Naya Bingi warriors, Uhuru Uhuru, Yohuru Namibia, Yohuru Sweto, Yohuru Africa. This poem will not change things. This poem needs to be changed. This poem is a rebirth of a people, arising, awakening, understanding. This poem speaks, is speaking, have spoken. This poem shall continue even when poets have stopped writing. This poem shall survive you, me. It shall linger in history, in your mind, in time, forever. This poem is time, only time will tell. This poem is still not written. This poem has no point. This poem is just a part of the story. His story, her story, our story. The story is still untold. This poem is now ringing, talking, irritating, making you want to stop it. But this poem will not stop. This poem is long, cannot be short. This poem cannot be tamed, cannot be blamed. The story is still not told about this poem. This poem is old. New. This poem was copied from the Bible, your prayer book, Playboy magazines, the New York Times, Reader's Digest, the CIA files, the KGB files. This poem is no secret. This poem shall be called boring, stupid, senseless. This poem is watching you trying to make sense from this poem. This poem is messing up your brains, making you want to stop listening to this poem. But you shall not stop listening to this poem. You need to know what will be said next in this poem. This poem shall disappoint you because this poem is to be continued in your mind, in your mind. In your mind.